Hey everybody, it's Mel McGee, founder and CEO of We Can Code It, here with our own Casmira Stockton. And Casmira and I are going to walk you through setting up your computer um, for our Java program. This may seem intimidating. Don't let it scare you. We're going to help you out here. And uh, Casmira is going into her search bar on her Windows laptop here and um, is typing in PowerShell, correct? There it is. And over to the right, you'll see the option that says run as administrator, run blah, blah, blah. Click run as administrator. And that's what she's doing now. Now, PowerShell is, it looks like if you've ever used command line, it looks like that. Don't let this scare you. All right. Um, underneath this video, you will see a script and you can copy and paste. And Casmira is going to be copying and pasting um, also from this script. This is not something you will memorize. You will be given this information. And the first thing she is going to do is this first line and she's, she's typing it out. Go Casmira. <laughs> So it says set dash execution policy. And then there's a space all signed. Again, um, and it's gonna look like this. It's coming back. What do you want it to do? Um, I want you to type yes to all. So um, capital A right there, capital A, enter. Great. Next up, Casmira is gonna go ahead and paste the second. It looks like a paragraph of code. It's really one very long line. She's gonna paste it all there. Again, you will be provided this information, hopefully below this video, hit enter, and you'll see all sorts of stuff, including extracting something, warning, lots of information, and this is okay. And then um, at the end, it says, you may need to shut down and restart PowerShell and or consoles first prior to using Chaco. Chaco is chocolatey. Let's go ahead and do that. Kismira, I found that doing this does help. Um, I've seen it happen both ways. It doesn't hurt to close the window. Um, you can close it the, uh, that way and then reopen it. Go back here. PowerShell, remember to run as administrator. And then we can pick up where we left off. All right. After this, again, we're on a Windows. We're in Windows PowerShell. Um, logged in as administrator. Um, the last part is installing all of these programs. Um, go ahead and copy that last big long bit, all of the Chaco commands and then the code commands and then paste them in here. And then at the end, hit enter. Let's see how that works. And here we go. It's installing Google Chrome. Good, we're installing other, it looks like um, extensions. Um, it's given a little, it's still installing Google Chrome. So that's gonna take a little bit of time. We're just gonna let it run. Installed some software, it was successful, it's in green. Installing OpenJDK, that's the um, Java development kit. Now it's installing Gradle. So running scripts like this, uh, it's a really cool, fast way to have a lot of programs installed, like look, ma, no hands. So something developers do an awful lot.
Now we're installing VS Code, Visual Studio Code. Now we're installing Git. It is for source control. Now we're installing Slack for communications with your fellow classmates and with instructors at We Can Code It as well. Node.js, it's for JavaScript, uh, server-side JavaScript development. Um, those are all the Chaco installs. So we're going to go from Chaco install Google Chrome through Chaco install Node.js. If you copied the whole thing like we originally did, that's okay. Um, it's just that sometimes the code, uh, the ones, the lines that start with code space dash dash install extension, those are for Visual Studio Code. And since we just installed it, we have to close down and reopen PowerShell. You may also have to do this. So let's go ahead and do that again. Um, close it down and let's reopen PowerShell. We'll search for it in our bar and run as administrator once again. And now you're simply gonna copy everything starting from code um, through the end of the document. And there we go. Now it's going to install those ex extensions correctly. These are all just Visual Studio Code extensions. So things that make it easier to program um, using Visual Studio Code and a lot of these tools uh, we use as part of our coding bootcamp. And voila, we're done. You can close down Windows PowerShell. Um, there we go. And you'll notice you have new icons and new programs installed, including the following. You'll have Slack, you'll have Zoom, and then you'll have VS Code. That is the main code editor we use, along with a lot of additional tools. Oh, and I didn't mention Google Chrome. All right. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any trouble, please reach out to us and we're happy to help.